This morning, the County Registrar of Voters is spreading the word about changes for California's recall election. Polling locations open tomorrow ahead of Tuesday's election, and News 8's Chris Groh is live at the Registrar's office with more on that. And what's actually different this year? Good morning to you, Chris. Yeah, just a couple of different little things, right? I mean, at the end of the day, you're still going to be filling out a ballot, especially if you come out in person. You'll just be doing it in a different way. Ballot marking device, something that rolled out back during the 2020 presidential election. But if you didn't take part in that or maybe you sent in a mail-in ballot, you'll want to know what it's all about. So it's the paper ballot that gets scanned back here election night. We will not have any other option for pre-printed ballots. Um, again, even with this simple election, there's up to 10,000 variations of this ballot. So uh, to provide that customer focused service and the ability to go anywhere, it's really the ballot marking device and our electronic poll books that make that happen. Hey, look, a lot of people want to have confidence in voting in the system. And just to be clear, the BMD, the ballot marking device, does not store your vote. It does not count your vote or any type of voter information. It simply just marks the ballot for you. And then that gets sent in after you make sure that there are no corrections that need to be made. Because, again, you can still make corrections if you made a mistake. Now, of course, with the actual ballot itself, it's been a while since we've had a recall election and there may be some people that are taking part in that for the first time. There's going to be two questions. Should Governor Newsom be recalled? Yes or no? That's the first question. Then, of course, the second question is who should replace him? And again, as we've been saying throughout this process, you can still mark that second question depending on how you vote yes or no on that first question. So don't feel like you can't vote on that second question. Now, if you want to vote in person, there are no voter signed polling locations. Instead, anyone can choose from the more than 200 sites from Saturday until Tuesday, so starting tomorrow, or you can mail your ballot in. But some people, like the couple you're about to hear from, like to have that old school approach. I like doing it in person to make sure that it actually ends up where it's supposed to be. I've always come in person. I'm old school. And if you need any help deciding on how to vote, where to vote, and if you still even can vote, if you need to fill out any type of voter registration, just make sure you go to our website, cbs8.com, and click on that help button. Eric and Stella.